Different sound, different colour, different lighting. I am making videos in accommodation, so it's an improvised studio setup. But today's subject is solar powered bulb lights from Poundland. 20 LED lights. I think this was either five or six pounds. And here's what you get you get your string of lights, which seem fairly good quality actually. Um, and you get a very dinky little solar panel. And at this point, let's get the film off it. At this point, I feel the need to uh, turn it on and then turn the lights out and see how bright these are. Just give me one moment. I'm going to uh, do that right now. The camera is, you know, they're not bad. Certainly outdoors in a garden, they would be okay. They're not mega bright. I mean, the construction of them really is just a single LED in one of these caps. Oh, there's, that's a solid cap. Uh, so really what's in the little electronic module is what will determine how bright they are and how hackable they are. Right, tell you what, watch your eyes, the light is coming back. Not that the light is such an issue with this lovely dark background. Strange colour. I'm going to have to get some different lamps or experiment the colour temperature a bit. That's weird. Uh, here's a little spike you get for stabbing people. Uh, and uh, that goes into the back of this and that's your little semi-waterproof solar powered thing. Let's open it up. So there are, I shall turn it off, four screws. What's the bet if I hope it's not going to be a button cell? I should hope it's going to be a double A style or triple A style nickel metal hydride cell. There's only four solar panel bits in the front so that limits the use to just the lower voltage cells. So it's not going to be lithium. Oh, it's a fairly standard. The only thing that's special about this, right, tell you what, I can't take a picture of this and show you the picture because uh, although I've got a printer here, uh, I can't set that up yet until we move on to the job and I install it on the job. Ah, uh, the perils of travel. This battery is knocked me out. Is this glued in? Oh, it's got double-sided tape. They've stuck the battery in. Why? Right, anyway, the battery is stuck in. I shall get you as close to this as possible. I shall doodle it out. That's the best bet. It's the classic little, I mean, should I even doodle it out? There's really not much to write home about here. The only redeeming feature, uh, hold on, just give me a second. Here's a close up of the circuit board. It's using, well, it's even printed on it, the YX8018. Uh, but the difference is it's got a 33 microhenry inductor, orange, orange, black. So really that is, they're already pushing that for how much current it can put out. But the one nice feature about this, I wonder if they're doing it for intensity or just to allow a universal circuit board to be used with uh, color changing LEDs. They've got a 104 capacitor here. That's 10 and 40. So that's uh, 100,000 picofarad is 100 nanofarad. And they've got a little 1N4148 style diode here which is being used to provide a stable sort of DC out to the uh, LEDs. Well, it, it, it's not quite full, continuous, smooth DC, it, but it doesn't dip to zero, which means they could use color changing LEDs. Any interruptions you hear in the background, I've, my co-workers are all arriving, we're starting to load the show in shortly, so uh, it's all starting to kick off at the moment. Right, tell you what, I'm going to hack these lights, I'm going to do something to them, because there's one redeeming feature these have that makes them worth getting. One moment. Let me show you the redeeming feature here, and I like these for this. The LEDs it's supplied with are 3mm cold white LEDs, however... If you want to use these caps, all you have to do is put your finger against the little cord grip thing, or the, I guess this is for hooking it onto a branch, and just click it up, and it pops the cover off. If I then lay in any standard, well, I was going to say any standard 5mm LED, I think this will accommodate this. It looks, the hole in there looks like it's about 8mm diameter. Over a quarter of an inch. Uh, so if you lay the light into that, like this, and then you clip this little cover on, that's you instantly put a new cap over your LED. So if you had a favourite string of universal, you know, the, the common 5mm or so LEDs that are very common for Christmas lighting now, it means you could actually add these caps in along that string or replace every cap in the string. But uh, 
a mixture, variety is good. So let me just uh, finish putting the other two caps on, then I'll show you these lit. They go on very quickly. The fronts also screw on. I'm guessing they probably have other styles of caps available for these as well. Maybe olive shaped lamps. You have to excuse me if the lighting is all a bit skewed at the moment and the sound because uh, it's just I'm working in a different environment from normal. So everything is going to look and sound different. Here we go. Right, tell you what, uh, let's turn these on, turn this off. I'll turn the lighting off and I'll take the exposure off. Oh, I don't even need to take the exposure off. Oh, maybe a bit too bright. I shouldn't have taken the exposure off. Uh, that is ferocious. Uh, that's actually a lot brighter than the other ones. As you can see, and it's warm white, so it gives them a nice effect. Uh, something you're not seeing here. Let me see if I can just tame this down to show you that. One moment. Are you seeing the little swirls in here? That is because the LED inside is a side emitting LED and it's projecting that pattern onto the inside of the globes. It's quite a nice effect. It's not a very even illumination. I suppose if you put in the 5mm diffused ones, it would give a fairly even illumination. There's also different shades. You can see that uh, on the camera quite clearly. That there's different shades of warm white here, which isn't a bad thing. Um, but there we go. Um, I would say, just give me a second, bring the light back. I would say these are actually quite nice. It's actually worth getting them just for the caps. This could do with an upgrade. Although having said that, the 33 microhenry inductor is already quite low. Uh, that's uh, suggesting, you know, I think they can go down to 27 microhenry, but when you, as you do that, you're going to run the battery down faster for the given amount of charge you get from the solar panel during the day. But uh, overall, I would say they're actually worth getting just for the caps so you can put them on your own lights. They're actually a worthy thing. So, relatively speaking, I would say that's actually a Poundland win again.